This story takes place in a time where everyone is merry, or in this case, every engine is merry at this time of year. This is also a story where fish is in demand, Christmas cheers everywhere, and an old friend comes home. It's almost Christmas, everyone! It's almost Christmas! It's almost Christmas! It's what? Yeah, it's almost Christmas, me arties. Hello! It's almost Christmas, you guys! It's what? It's almost Christmas! That means more snow to blow! <laughs> but some engines were not feeling the Christmas spirit. Paul, silly soft stuff, can't wait for the season to end. And I can't wait to stop wearing that horrid snowplow. Yes, my wheels are aching from all of this Christmas demand. Ah, the fat controller knows that we need a break, but we just don't get one. Everyone, everyone, it's almost Christmas, everyone. Huh, there's nothing good about it. What do you mean? There are many good things about Christmas. Like what? Like, um... Um, everyone is jolly this time of year, and snow! Pfft. Yeah, right. Just yesterday when I pulled into the station, I had this one passenger who said I was too slow and out of date because I was two minutes late. Two! Well, there's one thing that might cheer up your spirits. Like what? Okay, so before I came here, the fat controller told me to tell you that... Who is that? I know that whistle from anywhere. Hello everyone! I am back, ready to do some work before the holidays. Gordon, you're back! And so soon! Yes, they said I would be out of action for a couple of months, but I didn't know it would be that quickly. Well, I'm glad you're back. The Christmas demand would have made our pistons fly off. Yes, indeed. Well, now that we're all jolly and happy, do you guys want to tell Christmas stories? And they talked all through the night into the morning. In the morning, all the engines were bright up and early for a hard day's work. But one engine was not feeling very cheerful. It's despicable! Why should you get the Express back so soon? I've been doing a fine job! with it while you were away. Well, I'm the pride of the line, and I know how to pull the express better than you. What do you mean? We pulled the express for the same amount of time, and you still think you're better than me. Well, you had your time on the main line. And with the luck that you have, you could have had had a crash. <laughs> like getting stuck in a tunnel or being pushed away by an elephant. Just go back to pulling dirty coal cars. Oh yeah? And falling into a ditch or losing a dome on a viaduct are not accidents? Pa, I have had some accidents, poor old Henry, but mine weren't as bad as some of yours. Do you remember the flying kipper, Henry? Do you remember that little accident that happened that night? Shut it, Gordon. You're being very rude and selfish. Hmm. <laughs> I'm done talking to you two. The main line needs me, you know. Oh yes, and remember what I said, Henry. Don't listen to that big blue sausage. He thinks he's the only one who can pull the express. Yes, you're right. Thank you for standing up to him for me. No problem. Henry, Henry! What? Henry, my old boy, we got a special train to take this evening. What is it? Henry, the fat controller has brought the flying kipper back, and he said if we pull it well, he'll let us pull the express. Oh yes! This is great! I haven't pulled the kipper since 1951. Thomas, could you please shunt my train for me later? I would be glad to. The job is going to be hard, but we'll pull through. So with that, Henry and Thomas puffed out of the shed to go and get the train ready. Why 
Why was he in a rush? Don't know, don't care. Oh, okay. Henry was waiting at the station for the cars when Thomas came puffing in with one of the vans and coupled it up to Henry. Thomas and Oliver were doing a great job shunting all the trucks in line. Then Thomas shunted the last trucks into line. Okay, Henry, the kit is ready and all coupled up. Thank you, Thomas. I owe you one. Okay, driver, where to first? This time we're not going to the Brendam docks. We're going to the mainland because they caught a lot of fish this last month. Yes, driver. Oh, hello, Henry. Looks like you're taking the kipper, I see. Hmm. Make sure not to crash this time. I won't, because it's not snowing, like last time. And at least I don't get buried in the snow like some engines. <laughs> Goodbye, Gordon. Have a lovely trip. Four. Go, Henry! Show us what you can do, old boy! That was a great run, Henry. Now we will rest here until the fishermen get done loading the train, and then we can leave. Oh yes, that will be fine indeed. Well, 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 look what we have here, a steamer. <laughs> Can't wait to scrap you all. Huh, all you diesels are the same, rude and mean. <laughs> Let me tell you something, a little teapot. You're out of date. Let us diesels do all the hard work. And let you all rot in a museum or get melted down in the scrap heap. Ha ha ha. Right, Pinchy? <laughs> well, without us, there would be no railway. And without us, engineers would have never thought to make you in the first place. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see you all get replaced with electric engines. I hear that they're very modern and... Not out of date. Arrgh! Come on, Henry. I'm ready to leave. Goodbye, Diesel. Remember what I said. Oh my, it's starting to snow. Arrgh! The Kippa flies again!
Sorry, Douglas, but we're gonna have to stop you. There's a derailed flatbed. Ugh, hi. Don't worry, Mr. Douglas. We'll be out of here in a jiffy. Oh, 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 oh no! Brakes! Oh no, what happened? Oh, I'm a disgrace to this railway. Henry, what happened? Why didn't you stop? Nobody told me about the accident. So the workmen came to clean up the mess. And soon the fat controller arrived to see what happened. I'm sorry, sir. The rails are slippery and nobody told me about the derailed flatbed. The accident was not your fault, Henry. I'm very proud of you, but the damage is unspeakable, and they said that you'll be in the works for a very long time, and I'm sorry to say, they said that you might have to miss the Christmas party. Oh dear. But, let's hope that they hurry so I can make it to the Christmas party on time. Now that is good thinking. Edward, please take Henry to the works. Yes, sir and Edward pulled away with a very optimistic Henry. The next day, James and Edward were worried about Henry. Oh dear, poor Henry, he didn't deserve that crash. Yes, I'm worried for him. What if he misses the Christmas party? It won't be the same without him. Yes, indeed. And they both went sadly back to work. A week had passed and the Christmas party was about to begin. Oh no, Henry's not back. Oh, I feel so bad. Once he gets back, I need to apologize to him for my rude behavior. No one should be left out on Christmas. I think we all feel bad. Well, let's at least enjoy this party without... Wait, that can't be! Henry! Henry! Henry. You're back! How? Well, seeing that it's Christmas, the workmen wanted to go home and see their families early, so they worked a little extra hard. Everyone was very happy. Everyone, everyone! Friends, family, engines, thank you for coming to this year's Christmas party. I know that the year was not good at times, but we all worked hard and pulled through this horrible year. But, as I would like to say, have a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. And thank you for watching, and a three cheers for Henry! And I'm glad you're back. Can we forget about all that and be friends? Thank you, Gordon. I forgive you. But, for now, let's enjoy this Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thomas the Tank Engine and his friends thought it was the best Christmas ever. Thank you for watching us this 2020. I hope to see you all of you again and everybody have a wonderful Christmas. Picture a land where the sky is so blue, storybook land of wonder. Magical island just waiting for you Island of Sodor will make your dreams come true Imagine a place where the sun always smiles The valleys are green as can be The friends that you love are waiting for you 
True.